Integrated phone technologies, the big theme at this year's Geneva Motor Show with car makers Volvo, Mercedes-Benz and Ferrari all getting in on the act. A new system by Apple named CarPlay lets drivers access phone applications on the road. Ferrari is using the system in its new FF model, as is Volvo in its XC90 SUV. For now, Mercedes hasn't said which models will get CarPlay, but expects both its S and C-Class ranges to be compatible. A nice idea, but expect limits. What it really allows you to do is render what you have on your phone and your in-vehicle screen. For sure, it's going to be your Apple Maps for navigation, um, phone functions, music functions. When it comes to social networking apps, uh, they're going to limit it. You know, they're going to not allow you to have full access to Facebook like you have it on your phone. Um, they're going to probably reduce it to two liners, that type of thing. Rolls Royce has also incorporated driver assisted technology into its new 2015 Ghost series. At 230,000 euros, luxury doesn't come cheap, but at least it's a little easier to drive. The car is really an evolutionary design, and with that, we've introduced a number of new technologies into the car. One of those is satellite aided transmission. It's a technology which allows the car to use the navigation system within the car, plus the GPS information to predict the future, see into the see around the corner, and mean the car is always in the perfect gear for the upcoming road. Infinity's Q50 concept also features its own in-touch technology, with the incorporation of navigation and smartphone applications. Away from apps, Toyota's new FV2 has completely done away with the need for a steering wheel. Instead, drivers operate the vehicle through body movement. While not exactly new technology, the fact there is no wheel is certainly different. French custom and motorcycle makers Lazaret have been showing off their latest creation, the Wazuma GT. Under the bonnet, a 4-litre V8 engine. Legally, riders don't have to wear a helmet, but with that kind of power, some may want to. Of course, people are very surprised because it's an unusual category, which is three wheels. So it's neither a car nor a motorcycle. It's a three-wheeler. It's recognised in Europe as a three-wheel vehicle. Elsewhere, Nissan's Blade Glider is one of the show's other standout concepts. Electrically powered, the car's twin motors produce zero emissions. Inside the cockpit, the driver is positioned in front of the two passenger seats for better vision. Nissan say the seating distribution also evens out tyre wear. Volkswagen claim this vehicle, named the XL1, is the most fuel-efficient car on the planet. The German automaker says the diesel engine can do just over 300 miles on a gallon, a new benchmark it claims. It's also no slouch, going from around 0 to 60 in 11.9 seconds, even if the top speed has been limited to 99 miles an hour. If small and green is your thing, then for about 8,000 euros you could be driving one of these. The Meteor ET is only 2.25 metres long. The car's Chinese manufacturer says it's the smallest electric vehicle on the market, reaching speeds of 80 kilometres per hour.